Hello everyone, this is Cordord. Welcome back. So in this video, I want to show you how to create a better calendar in PHP. I know that I have already created a calendar in PHP, but uh, that one is not quite uh, correct and not fully functional. And this is something that uh, I want to rectify today. So for this project, we have two files, index.php and calendar.php. And uh, I want to use uh, Bootstrap 5, so this is the CDN link. You can find it on Google. And some basic uh, HTML structure for now. This is where we include that calendar.php. Now, when we talk about a calendar, we talk about two things. The current date and the calendar date that we are seeing. So the current date is, uh, we do not wish to change this at, at all while the calendar date is something that we can change we can look at the previous month next month and, uh, previous year and so on so our our calendar has two dependencies right uh, the current date and the calendar date now uh, php has two useful classes uh, daytime this is something that i hope uh, you know because we need this uh, uh, class and then daytime immutable which basically cannot be modified at all. So every time we try to modify it, we get a new data immutable uh, object back. And this is something that we want because we want our the current date uh, to not be uh, to be immutable, so that we cannot uh, modify it. So last calendar. Uh, so we have protected current date. Protected calendar date okay and now we need to define these two dependencies so we have class uh, current date and we use extends for inheritance let's see daytime immutable and we want to uh, rewrite the constructor so public function construct we do this to make sure uh, this is always the current date so that when this uh, object, is, this class is instantiated, one can change, basically choose a date. And this is something that we do not want because we want, we always want this to be the current date. Okay. So class calendar date extends date time. We do the same public function construct. Let's see current construct okay so and the next thing that we have to do is to say this modify uh, first uh, first day of this month basically it's always be the first day of the specified uh, month okay now we can say public function Construct. We need the current date. So, current date, and then we need a calendar date. Uh, calendar date. This current date. Current date, and then this uh, calendar date. And I want to use clone uh, to get a copy of this object so that we escape the uh, reference. Uh, let's see. Because someone can um, instantiate this object when this calendar class, uh, instantiated class, uh, uh, when this calendar is uh, created and can modify this uh, calendar date from outside, which in turn modifies the way this calendar works. Okay? And to make sure, we say this calendar date modify first day of this month. Okay? So back to index.php, we have calendar, new calendar, new current date, new, new calendar date, save, refresh, perfect. Okay, right now we need some helper methods uh, for both these two classes and this is something uh, that um, we have to write in, in both places, but uh, we can also use a trait. So we write those uh, helper methods uh, just once and then use this trait. So let's give it a name. Let's see date helpers. Okay, 
so what kind of uh, methods we need so public function get month number days so we need the uh, uh, number the, the days a number of days in a month so return int this let's see this format we need t so you need to have some basic uh, knowledge of daytime of working with the daytime class uh, get uh, current day number we cast that to an int once again we cast this to an int uh, this uh, format uh, j okay uh, public function uh, get month number uh, return once again int this uh, format uh, n okay public uh, function get month name and we say return uh, this this is a string so this format uh, capital n and we, right now we have to use this trait so in our current day we say use uh, date helpers and right here exactly the same thing use date helpers so no errors in this calendar date class we need to define one more uh, helper function public function uh, get month start uh, day of week so we need to get the day of the week on which the month started or on which the month uh, starts so function which is a number from 1 to 7 so return int we need to cast this one int this uh, format uh, capital N and we are done now right here we need some more properties we need the day labels and the month labels uh, month uh, let's see month labels like this we need two more so protected uh, Sunday first we say this uh, true by default and then we need the uh, property for weeks for the weeks this is going to be an array that uh, we are going to store in this array arrays that are uh, the weeks uh, of that uh, we are going to show in our calendar okay right now we need some helper function so public function get day labels let's see return uh, this uh, day labels uh, public uh, let's see public function get month labels return this uh, month labels okay uh, we need a function to set Sunday first public function set Sunday first we need a boolean value uh, okay so we say this uh, Sunday first bool and if this is uh, not true so this is not Sunday first okay then uh, we want to take that uh, element uh, from uh, uh, day labels and push it at the end so i want to use array push and i want to push in this day labels array then i want to use array shift to get the first element and then i want to get it from this uh, day labels okay but this is not quite uh, correct because if you set this to true and then to false and uh, you are going to see that there is a problem with this but to keep to keep things simple for now we uh, I want to use this approach okay some more methods so public function set month if you want to change the month we need the month number and we say this calendar date use this method set date first we need a year so this calendar date get year and then we need the month number so no checks we have to check if the, if the number is between 1 and 12 and then the day we want the first day okay public function get calendar month return uh, this uh, calendar uh, date get month name like this 
now we need to write a function to get the proper so you see we have an error like here get year let's see this calendar date uh, get year uh, I think I forgot that method let's see get month, month name so public function get year return let's see this format capital Y okay now we need a function to get a proper uh, day of the week on which the month started or on which the month starts that because uh, we can have Sunday first or Monday first then we have to accommodate our calendar for this so let's see protected function get month first day uh, first we get the day uh, this uh, day number and our date get month start day of week then if Sunday if uh, Sunday first if the day if it is a seventh day then we have to return one because right now it is the first day if let's see if the day is less than seven we have to return uh, day plus one because of all the other days uh, we are increased by one otherwise we return the day if we do not have Sunday first okay then we need uh, a getter for to get the weeks public function get weeks so return this weeks and now finally we need the uh, that method to create our calendar so let's see public function uh, create first we need an array for the days and we say array fill this is how we fill an array using this array fill function we start from zero uh, then we say this um, get month first day and we say minus one because uh, you know array sti start from zero not from one and we have to remove one from uh, this get month first day and then the values this is going to be an array for each element in this day array so current month we set this to false and day number set this to nothing that because we are going to uh, change this to elements uh, right away uh, right now we are simply adding the days um, of the uh, previous month using this uh, code right here and now we can add uh, the days of the current month so current days we start in a, with a 4 x is equal with 1 if x is less than or greater less than or equal to this uh, uh, calendar date get month uh, number, number of days like this x plus plus and then we say uh, days we add a new element and then we say let's see uh, current month we set this to true we need this to check uh, the days if they are of the current month or the next month or the uh, uh, previous month so that we have a way to check so day number we say this to x okay and uh, now we can uh, set this weeks array and i want to use this array chunk function this is going to split this day array into multiple arrays uh, of uh, let's see seven elements because every week uh, has seven days okay so in this weeks we are going to have uh, arrays that are representing in fact each week that we are showing in our calendar okay right now we need uh, to tackle the days for the last month so last month this is pretty easy we get the first week because this is where we have to look this week's day zero and then we say we need a prev so prev month we need a date time for this prev month we simply clone this uh, calendar date we say prev month we say mm, uh, let's see modify minus one month now we need the prev month let's see prev month uh, num days 
red mount uh, get mount number days okay now we need a for to start from x is equal with 6 x is greater than or equal to 0 x minus minus we basically go backwards so if uh, let's see if uh, this is not uh, set uh, first week uh, x day number if this is not set then we say first week x uh, day number we set this to prev month num days and then we say prev month num days uh, minus uh, one like this and we are done then this uh, weeks is zero and then we say first week basically we replace the first week in our weeks array and now for the next month you can move this piece of code in its own method you can do the same thing for the next month so next month uh, last week let's see this uh, weeks and then we say count this uh, weeks and then say minus one this is how we get the last element in our uh, this weeks uh, in our weeks property in our weeks array then we say let's see next month once again we clone mm, I think yeah let's see we clone that this uh, calendar update okay next month uh, modify uh, plus one month we need a, a variable let's see let's see c is equal with one and then we say for x is equal with zero x is less than seven x plus plus basically we start from one for the uh, days of the next month one two three and so on if uh, this is not set uh, last week x because we do not have elements for uh, uh, the days of the next uh, month so if this is not set uh, we say last week uh, x let's see current current month uh, we say false and then last week x the number we set this to by the way I'm once again uh, in nature in a nearby forest so Please enjoy the sound of uh, nature. This is actually uh, C. So C++. Like this. Okay. And finally we say this week's uh, count. Uh, this week's. Then minus one. Say last week. Okay. Now back to our index.php. We have to say calendar. Like this calendar create yes. so we have some errors on line 157 let's see 157 like right here so first week mm, let's see what is wrong with our code so right here first week this week zero our chunk let's see so we have first week x then we get the day number on the fine array key six let's see so we start from six and we go uh, backwards everything seems correct but sure there is a problem prep month num days first week this is where we get the first week this week's let's see if we get this right first, num, first week let's say exit okay so new page source zero one two Get information right here. 
Prevmon, this clone, Prevmon modify minus one, x is equal to x6, x is uh, greater than or equal to zero, x uh, minus minus, if, uh, so it seems, so, uh, Unless it is uh, get mon for stay, this is correct. Let's see, if this is on the first one plus one. So days, oh, of course, we have days everywhere, and here we have day. We need to pay more attention. So days. Let's see. Perfect. Now that we are back to our index.php, we need the key head. So, PHP for each. This is a template language in PHP. Get the day labels as day, day label, like this. And you say PHP and for each. Okay, the age. And then you say PHP echo day label like this perfect and now we have to add a t body php for each calendar get weeks as week let's see uh, php and for each for each like this so table row once again php uh, for each uh, week as SC day PHP and and for each we need TD PHP echo day and then we have day number like this save perfect because uh, this day this month started on when Wednesday so let's see is this correct? Correct. Okay, now we have to show this uh, days with gray, and the same goes for these two days. So this month uh, ends on a Thursday. Thursday. Uh, perfect. Let's see what we have to do. So, back to our index.php. Uh, right here, we have to say PHP if and then uh, uh, let's see uh, we say day uh, current month so if this is uh, true well, let's see just make sure php and if if this is uh, not true this is not the current month we say text uh, uh, text we say class text this is a class from bootstrap save refresh perfect and now we need to get the mm, current uh, day to see which day is the current day we need a spawn we can put it right here and we need to create a new method of course uh, because we do not have a method to deal with this if I want to write like this and if just to make it easier from us let's see uh, we have so if a uh, calendar is current date uh, day and we pass the day number okay and we say class uh, text uh, primary but it seems that we of course we do not have this is current date back to our calendar uh, let's see right here before the uh, get weeks we can say public function is current date uh, and we have the day number so let's see what we have to do right here just a moment we have to do several checks if um, this uh, calendar date get year is the same with uh, this uh, current uh, date get year okay uh, and uh, let's see we have to add 
and this uh, uh, calendar date uh, get month uh, number is the same with uh, this uh, current uh, let's see current date get month month number and uh, this uh, current date uh, get current day number is equal with date number and this is what we have to check is return true otherwise we return false save refresh and perfect we are today this is uh, 19 of course we can uh, change this to Monday first if we go to our index.php uh, let's see uh, calendar uh, set uh, Sunday first is set this to false refresh and the calendar is still uh, working correctly so Wednesday was the first uh, day of course and then what we can do let's see set month set month we can say let's see five for the previous month refresh so if we go right here and see May started on Sunday so this is uh, working correctly and uh, with this uh, we are done with this uh, tutorial I hope you find this really really useful see you next